Uh, I'm standing here with Kyle, the original Anderson, Perth uh, player extraordinaire, who's playing in the uh, Perth Masters this weekend at HBF Stadium. Um, so tell us, Kyle, how did you get into darts? Oh, I was shooting already, mate. Mum and Dad played darts when I was younger. Um, found myself going there and playing darts with Mum and Dad, you know. And where, where was this? Um, Dad played at a local tavern in Maddington. Um, Mum also did as well. So, um, but just found myself going along, you know, Bo played as well. My older brother played, and once you see your brother succeed at something, you just want to get into it yourself. And, uh, that's, that's how it when did you find yourself thinking, oh, actually, you know, I'm not, I'm not too bad at this? Um, I made the WA state team, or junior state team, when I was 11. So, um, once that happened, I um, thought to myself, well, you can keep going. So and, how long have um, you been playing dance school? Um, playing comp since I was about 10. So a good, a good 17 years now, so yeah. um, not bad for a guy who's 27. But um, it's a sport that everyone loves, you know, you make friends out of it easy. Yeah. You know, friends for life. You said your mother your mates are coming down. What do you mates think of the fact that you, you know, you, you basically make a living out of playing darts and travelling? Um, I always do, you know. Boys will be boys and say what they want, but um, now they understand that they've, they've known since I was young that I've, I've had the knack for it, or had the right attitude towards playing darts. And they, you know, when the boys are out partying, I'll be the one just sitting in the corner drinking water. So, how many um, hours a week do you reckon you spend on the, on the board? Um, I used to spend about, say, about 20 hours a week last year. Oh, wow. um, but I've cut down. On so what do you think about the atmosphere though? Did you play last year? You did play last year. I played last year. I played Sydney last year as well, and a year before in Sydney. It's the best atmosphere in Australia. Perth is. It yeah. is because you've got. We've been starved for that long for darts like this, and when it came through, it just. I think it blew a couple of guys away last year because how, how loud and how um, how knowledgeable the fans were. Yeah. You know, because Perth is a good dart state, so mm. a lot of the boys that went there and all the guys that went were dart players. So they knew mm. everything about it and knew who the people were. So obviously you want the state to get behind you this, this weekend. Well, that's it. You know, I grew up playing darts in Perth. Everyone that probably comes on the week on the weekend knows me or you know met me through the darts circle. So um, a lot of guys have been there when I came to darts in the pram. So. It's, it's going to be some something special. So hopefully one day number one. Oh, that's, that's what I'm doing, man. Because so, <laughs> I always hope to get to number one. And if you get there, you know you've made. I think you, you've made. I've made top fifty already. Hopefully make top thirty-two by the end of the year. So if I can get that, you know, uh, things are happening. Yeah. yeah. No, it's brilliant. Thanks so much, Tom.